Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I call to order our special city council yes. workshop of August 7th. Uh, the second item on the agenda, the discussion of proposed new wastewater treatment plan, inclusive but not limited to construction costs, engineering fees, operations and maintenance costs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> it's kind of strange. Our uh, engineering company's not here to describe their... Uh, Staff uh, comments. Leroy, you want to take the lead on this? Yes, and I'll address that they were going to be here, but tonight I thought we were going to concentrate on the financing of the project, not the cost estimate. So I, I thought that would be a separate item at a later date to refine the cost. Um, introductory comments. Uh, there's clearly a lot of variables or moving parts to the wastewater treatment plant project. Um, the total cost estimate uh, over the last three or four years, there's been different uh, amounts thrown out uh, that it varied. Uh, uh, there's probably still an opportunity to do additional value engineering to reduce the cost to some degree of construction of plant. Um, not sure everybody was fully aware that um, the annual operation and maintenance cost would increase with the construction new plant. We'll have to add a, a different um, staff person. Uh, plus, we'll have additional electric cost. Um, tying down the available funding sources for debt service. Originally, it was thought that recent rate increases would be available to uh, pay debt service. Uh, but some of that revenue was lost when water customers were transferred to rural water. We lost plus or minus $150,000 of revenue when that occurred, uh, uh, going from wholesale rate on those or going from retail rate to wholesale rate on those customers. Um, the cost for the operations of uh, the Public Work Authority has uh, increased over the years. The funds that we transfer from the Public Works Authority to the General Fund has an impact on how much is left in the Public Works Authority. Um, the sheets I'm going to hand out later, there is a CPI index built in as an ra annual rate increase. I don't have that in my funding scenario yet. Um, format of the structuring of the bond issue. Um, several moving parts in it. I, I use the term backloaded or deferred financing, virtually paying interest only for the first seven years of the debt service uh, while you're waiting for some other big bonds to pay off to kick in the actual um, paying the principal. By doing that, you add about $2 million of additional interest uh, than more than if you did a traditional straight up loan. Um, the, the our financial advisors wrapped in four bonds going off uh, one uh, a digester loan uh, the payoff on its 2025 and the um, meter automatic meter reading uh, and the lakes and water line it goes off in 2025 the water treatment plant in 2030 and the CMOM or CERLI project funds goes off in 2032. I'm a little reluctant to throw that into financing the wastewater treatment plant because those sewer lines aren't going to get any younger and I think we'll continue to need money to continue replacing sewer lines. Um, uh, tight funding scenarios, uh, there's not really a margin of error factored in, which scares me a little bit. Um, the city of Guthrie is not currently under a DEQ consent order uh, demanding that the wastewater treatment plant be replaced by a set future date. Uh, the current discharge uh, from our wastewater treatment plant is meeting the standards set by DEQ at the present time. Our current plant permit expires in 2020 and it will need to be renewed at that time. There could be a challenge with the current facility getting the permit renewed in 2020. Uh, also, we delay constructing the new wastewater treatment plant. The maintenance cost on the existing facility would likely increase 
to make such discharge stand to meet our discharge standards. Um, if we delay construction, interest rates and construction costs on the new plant can go up. So there's a lot of moving parts and variables to take into consideration. But what clearly we need to make some decision on the wastewater treatment plant and, and I hope everybody's following. We're talking about the wastewater treatment plant, not the water plant. Um, um, because it has significant impact on other funds. If you take a portion of the funding <coughs> of the wastewater treatment plan out of CIP, uh, capital improvement sales tax at three quarter percent, well, it affects how much money is available to do other projects. Uh, and looking at how much we're going to transfer from Public Works Authority to the general fund makes a big difference in finishing up the two, the, even the 2019 budget for next year because we need to know how much we're going to transfer to know how much money we have to work for. With that, those are introductory comments. I have a sheet. I've taken the uh, engineer's cost estimate for construction and broke it up a little differently. I thought it might explain partly why we've seen different costs. <clears throat> if you look at that, what I've tried to do is separate it out. <coughs> what I've tried to do is separate it out. If you look at just the construction cost of the wastewater treatment plant, it's about eleven point seven million. That's pretty consistent with some of the numbers that have been thrown out in the past. I think at one time, former city manager indicated 10 million. Of course, that's been two or three years ago. The, the 8 and 11, I separate that out. Our current wastewater treatment facility sets in a floodplain, so you can't rebuild there. So when you relocate it to the uh, old dump or landfill, then you've got to have an off-site lift station and you've got to have an off-site pumping. I don't know in what time that that was built into the project, but that's 2.5 or almost 2.6 million. It's not tied to construction of plant. It's getting the wastewater to the plant from the old plant. And so wherever you site that plant makes a difference. And then, of course, when you do a 10% contingency, that adds another 258000 to the project for the contingency on that portion. And also, uh, the cost of issuance uh, of the bond, 340000 is built into this. What I tried to do is get a cost of estimate for total cost. Now, we can do some value engineering, try to bring this down some, but I at least wanted to start at a point that we're, we got the total cost in here, not just pieces of it. Um, I, the engineer is going to be here tonight, but I suggested that we do the value engineering and come back and do a second workshop on that and concentrate tonight on the financing piece. Um, the next sheet that I have, um, I want to yeah, Leroy, well, before you go any further, I'm yes. looking on the below for it says cost efficient to the LO says engineering fee paid to date and engineering fee are two separate items. So we've already paid them four hundred and eighty eight thousand, we're gonna to have to pay them seven hundred thousand more for the engineering on the plant, correct? Well, seven hundred thousand is the total in that four hundred and eighty eight is the next year. We're going to pay okay. that. So it'd be the difference. Right. We've already paid the 488. Total, total, total 7. <laughs> we're going to owe about 218,000, 218, right? Correct. Okay. That's the design. Now we'll have a resident engineer during construction, but that's construction engineering. Um, this was in your package, but this uh, uh, there's additional electric costs for the different components of the plant, uh, adding additional person to staff uh, so our annual operating costs will increase approximately three hundred thousand dollars a year with the new facility you'll increase from what we're paying now correct correct and there's no way to put it where the current one is right it's in floodplain so uh, we've got a berm around it but I don't think that we would be allowed to rebuild back in the floodplain 
Where are you looking at over there off of the uh, It's one of the Jason. cells that was not used, if I understand correctly, from the old uh, landfill. It's at the dump, right on Academy? Yes, yeah. but it's, yeah. it's an area that was never used as a dump. It, uh, uh, it was a cell that was planned, but it was never utilized. And then you got to buy right away for the, the line to bring it over, and so there's a lot of commentary to that. Um, the next sheet I wanted to hand out is um, some additional background information. Steve, you're going to try to check with family. I'm waiting for the good news. <laughs> it's at 9 o'clock. Yeah. 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 Um, in the golden collar there, uh, that is the amount that has been transferred from GPWA to the general fund. And you can see some years the general fund was um, substantially hurting and in 2002. It was 613000 I think, was the highest. And then there's been some years it's in the 500000 range. In 2013, it, it dropped to zero, and then in 14 started going back up. And in 15, 16, 17, 18, there was $350,000 transferred from the utility fees of the Public Works Authority to the general fund to help fund the general fund. Um, and that's why we need some input or guidance from the council relative to this to see if that 350 is still going to be available to 19 going forward. Um, the, this does not include, that 350 does not include the direct charges to the Public Works Authority for staff and the city clerk utility office. Uh, we fund directly out of the Public Works Authority one purchasing agent uh, a utility billing clerk, a accounts payable utility billing clerk, and a part-time utility clerk. So three and a half positions are funded out of the Public Works Authority. Of course, billing is part of the collecting the rates or the fees. So I'm not indicating this is any way inappropriate, just trying to paint a clear picture of the operation. So now, if you look at the 350000 Probably part of that is justified because city manager doesn't just manage the general fund. City manager also manages the public work authority. So it would be, make sense that part of my salary would come out of public works, part of it would come out of general fund. We've never done cost accounting and divided it out that way. In the same way with the finance director that should be funded out of both funds, not just out of the general funds. So, so there's some justification for at least part of that 350000 to go from Public Works Authority to general fund. In the green, what I've tried to show, in 2017, we had just under $5 million in sales tax. It looks like the current budget year is going to be uh, almost $5.5 million. We're projecting in 2019 that we will maintain that same 10% increase but not grow anymore. I don't know that there's been too many years the city has had back-to-back -back good years in sales tax and I don't want to get aggressive. If we can just keep the 10% that we grow this year and not backslide any, I think we would be doing good. And I hate to project. We grew 10% this year, we're going to grow another 5% next year. But if you move, if, if we deleted that 350000 out of the FY19 budget, that would be equivalent to taking us back to a 3% growth in sales tax. Can you so say that one more time? If we take the full 350000 and keep it in the Public Works Authority and not transfer it to the general fund, it would be the same like if we only right. got a 3% right. increase. So, and if you look at the way other funds fluctuate, basically we would be saying we're going to operate in 19 with about the same money we did in 17. 
But even if we did that, that three hundred and fifty grand's not gonna pay for this an annual no. hours on this that's gonna it's that's gonna be the maintenance cost. It's gonna take four. That's, yeah. that's just yeah, the maintenance sure. cost Absolutely. of the new plan alone. Absolutely. Upcharge maintenance. Absolutely. So we don't have a wastewater treatment plant coming. <laughs> because so anyway, we do. I just went through the different amounts and to try to give some equivalence of what it would be in impact to sales tax. The last sheet I have is a spreadsheet on the payment plan for uh, the wastewater treatment plan. And if you start on the left hand side and go across the first uh, the third column that says principal payment you can see between the 2019 and 2025 which you make two payments a year you're roughly paying 20,000 in principal so you're you're pretty much just paying interest only to 2025 and that's when the digest their loan and the uh, Langston water line loan goes off. Then you start making principal payments. Um, and the further we can push our wastewater treatment plan to that 2025 date, the more resources we actually have to do a more traditional loan. But I think we got to realize that if we decide to wait, we could end up at some point with a consent order and we have to back up and do it whether we want to or not. Um, the, uh, if you keep going over the interest payment, uh, over the life of this uh, note, uh, you would pay $8 million in interest. That's plus or minus about $2 million more interest costs because we backloaded it than if we had paid a traditional loan where you pay principal and interest all the way through. Um, that's not a very attractive way to finance a project. Um, and it's then it's, it's can, attractive on the short term, it's not attractive on the long term and the total and the total package. Yeah, well, my, where I come from, when you. When you when you borrow that kind of money, sixteen million dollars, and for seven years you just pay interest only, that's not an attractive. It's loan. called robbing Peter to pay Paul. Yeah, you're looking at eight uh, mil over calls. Yeah. But if you are under consent order, you don't have any choice. Then you got to right. do what you got to do. Well, then. Um, so we saved us off for that point. Uh, so we say that is there no way to on our existing plant to. Uh, I don't want to say retrofit's not the right word for it. Upgrade we, to if, meet if, the new standard. It's not the new standard. Can we continue with the aging of the plant and the amount of water we treat? Can we keep up with it and continue to meet the current standard? And yes, we will continue to do maintenance on the old plant to make it last as long as possible. What is that costing us annual, approximate, do you know? On maintenance? Yes. I don't have that figure. That'd be uh, nice to know. Yeah. Uh, you can see, in, as you go over the first golden column, uh, is the uh, adding in the additional wastewater treatment plant. Um, and that's just a flat amount. Of course, that'll grow a little bit over time. And um, total operation of maintenance and debt service is the salmon collar or kind of reddish collar. That's all of the debt itself. And then past the black line or column is the actual pay sources to pay. And what I programmed was four million dollars coming out of the CIP. And I spread it over the life, the balance of the life of uh, the CIP sales tax. I took hypothetically reduced the transfer to general fund. I did not reduce it in the 19 budget year, but I, I took 100,000 of the 350 out of the transfer and put it in here in 2021 20, budget year. It was 200,000 that uh, we would reduce the transfer by. 22,300 and 23,350. So I kind of scaled it back over time. Problem is, if we use the 350,000 this year and we get pay raises and hire people back that we lost when we did, the, then 
we're at risk because if the sales tax doesn't grow fast enough to replace this 350, then we're in a bind in the general fund, and we'll have to because once you borrow the money and use it, you can't you can't take it back. You mean a recurring obligation? <coughs> yeah. I, so how do you feel that we can go with a reduction of 350,000 out of the general fund? It, it's going to be extremely tight. Uh, you know, and when I got here in 17, we reduced as many positions we could because of our, our financial position. And um, staff was fantastic, department heads all the way down to our staff, uh, people out in the field. They picked up the slack. You know, how long can you do that? We're operating with skeleton crews in a lot of our areas. Uh, it would be nice to start trying to look at how we can add some of those positions back, continue to do the merit increases, maybe look at a small cost of living increase because we want to maintain our employees that we have, uh, quality employees. If if we take that 350 out, that's not going to happen. Well, yeah, well, I just am yeah. curious where we're going to cut if we take that 350 out. We'll basically be, be operating on the same <laughs> pay level and we'll be operating with the same number of employees. So if we take that out. So if we eliminate the 350,000, we stay flat as we are today? Yeah, pretty much. So if we put the 350,000 in that, because I noticed a little comment of asking for it over here in the gold. Yes. So that'll come up here sooner than later. Where is that going to go? Well, if if we don't, if we continue to transfer it to the because we've been putting it in there. Correct. Right? If we continue yeah. to do that, we will have a ten for a roughly ten percent increase to work with next year in um, the fire department and the general fund. Uh, we're probably looking at because we have some other funds that fluctuate some. We're probably looking at a six or seven percent increase in our budget. So that would allow us to do the merit increases. It would allow us to add some of the staff back that we cut out when we were in a budget crunch. But if we don't transfer that 350, that all a lot of that goes away. So I really need to know what we're going to do before we city clerk and I can finish the FY19 budget. Well, we and that's coming up. Yeah. yeah. Before we get into where we have to buy a wastewater treatment plant from a consent order, is there anybody out there, engineering or otherwise, that can tell us the probability of something like that that we have to start looking at now? I mean, obviously, it's working fine. It's doing what we need. That, or that, what is there somebody that can say, well, in 2020, obviously, we got to get a new uh, permit. So. With what we, with can, with with what we have flow rates and everything we have right now, and the effluents and everything going on, is there anybody that can give us look into their crystal ball and tell us that you know or do we need to just start buckling down now and figuring out how we're going to come up with it, or can we just? I don't know that anybody can give us a definitive answer to that degree. It would be nice, but uh, I I've never yeah, seen. Point. DEQ, I don't know how they can give you a consent order as long as you meet the uh, discharge standards. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, I was under the impression that there was a certain degree of urgency when we talked about this two years ago. Exactly. That's what um, and there uh, was. Yeah. And and, and 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 now I'm hearing that um, that maybe that urgency isn't there. Well, uh, clearly there's some financial <coughs> implications. Uh, for stretching this out, and even in, after a consent order, you, you've obviously got some time to start developing your plan for meeting the new the standards. Uh, and so, you know, even if it's 2020 when we ha when we have when we know that we're coming up for review, uh, we're probably looking at some at a year or two after that before there's for it's absolutely imperative. Yes. even if in the worst case scenario. But again, I was under the impression personally that, that there was some urgency. And now my sense is that there isn't and clearly... No, uh, we were all under that same impression, yeah. Steve. And, 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 and clearly the expenditure and the financial planning aspect of it to spend $2 million more to front load this thing, if we can hold off for a few years, as long as we're providing 
a quality service. Uh, as long as we're meeting the standard, um, it seems to me that it's pretty obvious what we need well, to do. Well, can we look look it right in the eye and ask where the sense of urgency came from? Well, I, I, I see a half a million dollars in engineering we paid already. That's okay. because of that we were and all under. Let me tell you something. In those meetings, engineering was a lot of the urgency. Okay, in this deal. Okay, they, they were in the they were in the retreats, and there there was a lot of urgency from engineering in this. We go back and look at the tapes, uh, and so what I'm looking at a half million dollars out. That if we don't do anything, it's just we just threw it away. That's going to oh, change. I don't, I don't think so. Well, I think you don't know. Plan, I mean, the the plan that was developed can still be the plan. I understand. Can still be the plan, but, Brian. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't think it was. We don't know if that'll be the same engineering all. company in uh, seven years from now or not. Yeah. Um, okay. So it will. It will be modified. A sense of urgency thing. came from engineering. But but uh, but I do think if paid. we're talking about the financial aspect today, uh, and and I understand you and Kim wanting to get some sense from the council because it does impact on how you guys plan for a budget. Uh, not only the 350, but also you know just bumping this this potential project down the road and and I don't want to kick the can to a to a future council uh, because we all have been dealing with some of stuff that, that got kicked to us yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, again this it doesn't sound like there's a sense of urgency um, as long as we can keep providing a service um, I don't know, Leroy, what, is there an impact on economic development in terms of new businesses coming sure in that would be impactful, uh, that, that would ne necessitate us moving forward <coughs> with a, a wastewater treatment plant uh, more, more quickly? It depends. We would have some options, but it would depend on what type of utility use the new industry would have. Um, but there would be an opportunity that if we had a big user that we could build a new treatment plant because the revenue flow from the new industry for a big utility user would help pay for sure. sure. And normally there's a year or two lag from the time they announce to the time that they actually go into operation. So um, it could have an impact. I can't give you a guarantee answer, but I think we would have some time to respond. But, but it seems to me clearly if we move closer to uh, the funding me mechanism for some of the other items uh, that were going off in, uh, what did you say, 20, 25, 25 uh, to avoid the, the $2 million of just paying interest. And if you look at the spreadsheet I did, the last call it that says variance. Even if you put in four million dollars from the CIP, you take the three fifty from and not transfer it to general fund until you get to 2031, 20, 20, you're not even you paying on principal. You still yeah. have you still <laughs> have a negative that you're gonna to have to come up out of the operating fund of the public works sure. Which we probably could do, but it'd be time. We need to get our 488 grand back and figure out this another day. What we need to do. It's called a request for funds. I, I'm not following your <laughs> the engineering. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you remember, that's how we got pushed so hard on this deal. Okay, so um, again, I know we wanted to focus on finances, but your assessment. Uh, you're comfortable with your with staff input. You're comfortable that um, I mean anything can happen tomorrow. But you're comfortable that we have a reasonably working uh, wastewater treatment plan um, and meeting the standards as they exist today. We have to this point. Okay. All right. When when does our permit expire? 2020. 2020. So we know we're going to have another review by then, and, 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 and it could be okay, it could be okay. What I would Three recommend is that at the retreat when we plan the CIP, when is that retreat? Uh, the another month, 12th, 24th, 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 
in case we do can consent order that we go ahead and start setting that aside and put it into account designated for the wastewater treatment plant i think that we look for opportunities over the next couple of years to try to reduce the transfer from uh, wastewater treatment plant to general fund uh, as much as we can uh, but just don't take it all away but it, when the opportunity presents itself to start building some funds and maybe we can pay part of it out of cash rather than all borrow money if we get a consent order. I think we need to start planning some funding towards it, uh, not just put it under a bucket and forget it. Oh, I agree. Well, that's what I was thinking, if we could start putting money back or banking yes. money, putting yes. it in a, a savings account or some sort of interest yes. bearing account. Designated for this project. Designated only for this. I guess we can do that because that or the way our budget works from year Correct. to year, we have to be careful with how we transfer or how we carry funds forward. We can put we can put it into a capital fund. Well, I think that's the way to go because there's a real obviously we can't afford one right now. I agree with that. But if we're going to do that, that would be done through a council ordinance, or how does that work? Yeah. We would do it as part of the budgeting process. We would transfer money. Uh, well, of course, if it's in the CIP, we would just designate the money and it would remain in the, the capital improvement plan for this. If we take money out of wastewater or we take it out of uh, reducing the general fund, we could transfer it as part of the budget process in the CIP where it will be designated for this. So it can be done as part of the budgeting process. So what about, so that we don't saddle future councils, what if we do it as a council and it's a mandate that X amount of money per month, just like in a rainy day fund, goes in this capital improvement fund. I'd rather not lock in an amount. I'd like to try to do it budget here by budget. I think that's where we get off track, not yes. because of you, okay. but that's where okay. we get off track when At we least don't lock in an amount. Maybe let's get through the 19. The next budget, the 19 budget we're working on, see where it is, and maybe we'll have a better idea of an amount that we can set. Yeah. If that's, I mean, just workable. just considering one thing, we've been transferring approximately 350 thousand, all right, and yet we're saying with this brand new facility, our our operational expenses are going to be that. It's a I know that's so all the money. So it just went exactly. Yeah, it just went. So. I, I hear what you're saying, and I'm in favor of not saddling future, but that that scenario changes because that 350 is now just eaten. Well, but we don't have the number that it's no. costing to maintain our current facility. No. No. If we had that, that would be good conversation. We right are now. putting 105,000 every year into the rainy day fund. It's at 600,000. Four years from now, we'll be done building the public. general funds. Rainy day fund is a fully funded. That's all okay. right. That's right. But the one for public works authority is at about six hundred thousand. Oh. Correct. It's close to it, yeah. So, so we've got about four more years of hundred thousand each year going into that to fund that. That hundred thousand would then. I'm just willing to it. bet if a council doesn't make a mandate about this deal, it's not going to happen, and it won't. We'd be sitting here with another council down the road, and there's not going to be any money for it. Why don't why don't we do that as as we finish up the 19 budget yeah. and see where we're at, and then we can okay. talk about a mandate. But but I think philosophically, what I am hearing is that um, we would like to take the 350 or a portion thereof and put it in a savings account. Well, it's going to be have to be a lot more than that. Well, yeah, yeah, right. But 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 <laughs> put that, that, put that money deposit. into a separate account that isn't going into our general fund. Right. Uh, and be weaning off that money going to the general fund so that we know we're going to have to replace the wastewater treatment plant That's at some point. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and so that at, at when that point happens, whether it's two years from now in, in 20 or in 24, there is there is there's a there's a lump sum to build on that we're not um, hamstringing a, a, a future exactly. uh, city council. Right. That's what I'm hearing philosophically, right. at least from this end of the table. We're yeah. not hearing so much from that end. <laughs> Jeff's just gonna write a check. <laughs> yeah, I'll front check. But is that is yeah. that generally it, what we're what yeah, we're all thinking? I mean, <coughs> again, um, the message that's coming to us, me, is is different. The urgency is not there. 
there's more thought into the financial and clearly spending three million dollars or whatever it was in, in, in interest is it's just not smart. It's not smart personally. It's not smart for us in charge of public uh, public funds. It's not smart for the city. Well, our plan's at the age it would make rational sense to replace it. But if you don't have the dollars to pay for it, you've got to make it work. It's just like having an old car. You know, at some point you need a new one, but if you don't even have the down payment for it, we're going to make the old car work a little longer. What if we uh, have, let me let me ask one more question on this. What if we looked at <clears throat> the our current CIP, uh, how much we brought in, how much we put out on special projects, stopped it right in its tracks. I'm not suggesting this. I'm just saying stopped it dead in its tracks. Didn't spend another dime on anything other than a wastewater treatment plant. Could we fund it through the CIP? I don't think so. Well, I think so. you've spent, you probably have pretty close. You could fund the $16 yeah. million out of the CIP. Because you didn't spend another dime on anything. Because you could pay for everything <coughs> out of that until these other loans went off. Now, let's be clear, that's not what the people bargained for no, when they no, brought no, in no, the no, CIP. No, 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 we all know that. Okay. So that's why, that's why I'm saying if we're going to put a fund together and commit to that, so that we don't saddle future councils and try to make a jump here, a couple things need to happen. We need to never spend a half a million dollars to an engineering company or anybody else when we don't know that we're going to do the project. That is fair. We know that at some point in time... They might not be around when we're going to do it, Steve. Wait a minute. Well, we I'm know that at some point in time, <laughs> We're going to have to replace the wastewater treatment plant. Exactly, and they may not be around in 2030. And we'll probably have to redo okay. the engineering. Well, and we'll have to redo the engineering of 4088 we spent. I, that's where the urgency I, came I, from. That, that plant will have to be replaced. The engineering is <laughs> yeah. fine. That's where the engineering, engineering that's where the urgency if we came from. In three years, they wanted all okay. the Okay, and so awesome. I'm just saying we don't ever need to do that again. Is what I'm saying. Well, we ought to be smart. Well, when we do, when we're handed, I feel like we've been sold a bag of goods yeah, on, on we the wastewater we treatment had plan. to do this, and we brought it in. So because if you don't do this, it's not going to work. So yeah, okay, we get the engineering going on it, and now we're not going to use it. So a half a million dollars later, and we're not going to do it. Now, five, six, seven years from now, when we do do it, we'll be that engineering will be no good. It won't yeah. be any good. And on top of that, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying you know we're never going to get the 4088 back. All I'm saying is if we're going to commit to future councils in this community that we're going to put money back then we need to commit it through council and not leave it up to staff. It needs to be a committed ordinance that the money goes in, period. You don't get to play unless we pay <laughs> for well, this I thing. I think we how, how many subscribers do we have? On we did prove it. Yeah. Do you know roughly? It's about 30, between 37 and 3,800. Okay. How long did they say this plant should last? Did they ever say that? Oh. We can go back they through the tapes and listen to all the dog and pony show. They did. Um, I don't recall, but it was a fairly substantial. Uh, it's a fairly substantial life. I'll be life. I would be fifty-two whenever this was paid I, off. But I. I'll be dead. Uh, to be honest no. with you, I never heard any conversation about about the uh, about being in the floodplain. <clears throat> oh, you didn't know that the. I might have just totally missed that. But no, no, we always knew it was going to be moved. Out of because of Cimarron River. Part of the, of the, okay, yeah. I, I guess I just missed part of the engineering was finding another side to yeah. work. But and it could have been part of, and to say engineering had 100% uh, responsibility to not push this down our throat as an emergency, it was probably staff at the time as well. Let's give it some fairness here. That's more okay? fair. That's, that's more fair. Okay, well, but you know, remember, but you remember yeah, back when this all started, right? Yeah. They were all there because the scare the tactic tank. was yeah. out there that if we don't take care of this, we're going to get fined millions of dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. We're going to get the same amount of water. Well, it came through multiple meetings and everything else we had. When I came here in 2017, I was told City Guthrie was ready to build a wastewater treatment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I said that I had to be here long enough so that I understood where the money was going to come to pay for right. And so I've been dragging my feet until we had time to go through. The first budget cycle I went through in 2017, we were in panic mode trying to figure out how to keep the club. 
but now this year I've had time to go through this and I didn't want to run out and borrow $16 million until I could do a spreadsheet and see where the revenue sources were right. coming from. One thing I'd like to say, Leroy, is the urgency for our plant is there, guys. And I mean, if you haven't been out there, come visit. Our holding ponds are full. We have two holding ponds, they're full. Trees growing in probably two, three inch diameter base right now. When them holding ponds are not full, we have the ability to take the overflow to the holding pond. We don't have that ability right now. Um, so what happens to the overflow? We're treating every max, I mean, everything that's coming in, we're treating going out. So you're functioning flood back into cottonwood or something? Floods, flood circumstances. Uh, okay, we don't have no place to go with it. So you're if running we are not capacity right now. If we are not able to treat it and get it out there, it's going to come. It's going to come out the front door. We don't have the holding ponds to go to to with the sewage. Okay. So you're at 100 percent capacity right now on wet days. Yeah, rainy days. On dry days. We're what about more holding ponds that can't do that? There's no space in the, the dikes to put them even. Can we make them bigger? That'd be part of the maintenance part. They'd have to go in, they'd have to dig them out. We'd have to dig them out. I mean, that's gonna, whether they put a new plant in or not, they're gonna have to dig them out. Our, our trickling filters, they've been repaired multiple times. There's cracks up and down through them that, I mean, you can stick your hand in. That's no Plum City pump we there. out the sides of them. Um, no, they pump raw water to cottonwood. Okay, that's going to say they pump it into the cottonwood. We can't do something like that, something similar. So, no, so the urgency no, of the new plant is there. And I mean, 2020, when our DQ. So it was legitimate, nobody was blowing smoke up. Yeah. Yes. It's going to be real interesting in 2020, I'm afraid, whenever DQ comes So you're. In. You, you're it, if you were a betting person, you would say we would uh, probably have some type of consent order on review. I would say more than likely. Yes. Okay. Well, then now we're back. Well, to, now we're back. To if we world. if we do this, we can't do anything else. <laughs> or we you know, borrow, that's or we kind of what started this whole thing. We go out huh? and borrow. Or we borrow a bunch of sixteen money. million dollars. Well, you can't go borrow the money. Send a note. You're going to saddle the next fifty years on a water treatment plant that's yeah. seen its life, but. But we can move it down yeah. to 2020 or 2021. That's But that's if we did it now. So yeah. How many times are they going to give us a variance on a consent order? I think it would look better if we were saving up whenever they came out. So we look. Yeah. If we at least had it in the budget setting aside. Well, and we've already got a plan yeah. in place. Right. Uh, obviously, it'll, it will have to be massaged. We're on the table, I don't understand. Uh, but, um, well, so here's what I hear. Uh, we've got a sense of urgency, but we're not, we don't have a sense of urgency. We've got a sense of urgency, but yet we don't have a sense of urgency. Because, and this is what I'm concerned about with committing to put money in this fund, that we're not going to make a, a council makes a law that that happens because you know, we don't need it this month because we did, we just don't have the funds to do it. We're going to have to do something else. You know, it needs to be done each and every month if we're going to do it. And then that way, by 2020, we come in and maybe we have a couple million in the bank to help offset this deal some if we get forced to do it. I don't know why we can't dig another hole. Uh, there's just no more land. It's a floodplain. It's inside the dike. It's inside the You only got so much land there. Yeah, but we can't expand the dike? Uh-uh. -uh. Don't That'd you, be pretty costly. Yeah, you're you're talking about a lot of money there. Uh, what kind of money are we talking about? We're talking sixteen million. You know, or, and then <laughs> how much? <laughs> have to, how much maintenance? You're probably talking about. We'd have to, we have to, <laughs> we'd have to, <laughs> we'd have to pay the engineers some more money yeah. to figure it out for us. <laughs> you're gonna lose probably a million dollars to do that kind of work. What would that? What would that roll up be of the principal payment that's between twenty nineteen and twenty twenty six? About one point one million. Probably. I don't so if we had that, we'd be a little bit better off on yeah, the interest. More of a traditional loan. 
Yeah, because and the, the way it stands right now, we're paying one, two, three, four, seven, eight, ten, eleven years of straight interest before we have principal. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing it. It's insane. But I'm sorry. That's a half a million. Keep keep the can down the road too long. At, at, at some point, yeah. Yeah. I think we're going to have to do that. But we're still keeping the can down the road. We're paying ten thousand. We're going to have to do it. Right. So what if council? What if council? I just don't think we're ready to do it. Now. This year, obviously right. not. What if okay. council said we're doing the wastewater treatment plant? Figure it out. What are we going to do? And plus, we're doing still doing the CIP projects. What do we do then? Oh, Mr. Aubrey, <laughs> it was nice to have you. <laughs> 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 you guys who else? Who else? <laughs> <laughs> I just go over the room. I mean, so everybody's gone. We would have to. We would have to. Chris, what's your view? Come on, man. We would have to continue the other part to operate on. with skeleton crews, and we would have to be very tight on pay raises, those kind of things. I mean, if push comes to shove, we had to do it. I mean, we'd figure it out, but you know. I think I, the I, parks I, gonna be mowed as much as we would like. I mean. I think what so council like, needs. We're trying to grow the city through economic development. We got to make it. <laughs> that was one of the reasons for increasing yeah. for doing the new plan. Yeah. But I would like to have another. We got Tenney's opinion that we got to have it, and I trust that. Okay, and then but we got staff's opinion that everything's flowing to capacity because it is, yes. and I trust that. Yes. Okay, but I want another opinion before council makes a decision on if we have to mandate this or not. Because if we get another question. opinion come in and they say, yeah, Tenny's absolutely who, right at the end of the day, if you don't do this, well, you're screwed. I, 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 what I said, who can we touch? Who can we, who would, who would have, who would, who is somebody that has the crystal ball that, that understands this and would say, yeah, maybe so, or yeah, maybe not. I don't know, yeah, the engineers. Yeah, well. <laughs> well, I was just thinking. <laughs> DEQ, let's have them look. Oh, well, let's get the lion right in front of well, them. Well, 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 you don't want that. Hey, you know what? Hey, let me tell you something. Hey, in, in, hey, in business, sometimes the proactive one wins. Okay, yeah, sometimes so being reactive, right you're so a loser. Imagine what that's like. Well, well and I think, I, I think, 2020 when they do come in to do their, they do an inspection every year. When they come in for we renew go to renew our permit in 2020 they're going to tell us then whether or not and if we can start now somehow some way making a direction towards it which we kind of have i mean we've got full plans put together for a new plant we've got i mean can we break ground with internal employees and start breaking ground over here at the other place to get it start getting ready i don't know if we've gotten I, 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 to that discussion you know, whole, yet i, I don't i, mean, I don't know why we want to part. want to rush that brian i mean i i, I in, in my mind i'm thinking that we ought to be strategically planning to make those moves in 20 2021 20, something like that but we need to be looking at how do we find put ourselves financially in a financial position now for 2021 and beyond. Well, and that's I think the closer at, we get to 2026 when some of these other things go off the books, that's that, the better off we are without paying more in, in, in interest. But we need to be putting money in our savings account for that date. All right, so and how much money do you think? I think what, what Brian was saying a minute ago, he kind of agrees with you though. Um, the 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 point in Duke having our guys go out and start groundwork or whatever shows due diligence, just like putting the money does. It shows due diligence. Or so the if the department of in if DEQ comes in, that shows big if due DEQ, if DEQ comes in, not only are we starting to save money, we've already broke ground on this project. We look pretty good. That's why. If we're just sitting here I building building thing. parks and stuff, they're going to look at us and go, you know what? <laughs> Ten thousand dollars a month, or well, whatever you find. We've spent, we've spent money, engineering. I mean, I'm just yeah, saying. You know, uh, I don't I, want to. I, 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 I guess I would. We're not qualified I, I, to make it. I, I guess I'm saying we need to prepare ourselves for that date because we know it's coming. I just like to push that date down the road, two or th three, three, three or four years, but be putting money away 
for that, just like you do your own personal. I understand, you know? Stephen. Do you think we are qualified to make that call without yeah. having another person come in? I'm hearing Tenny say we're at flood, we're at the top level. We got trees growing in it. I, 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 I guess I would. My gut feeling would be that any engineering firm is going to come in and they're going to be very conservative and they're going to say you need to start getting ready to replace it. Maybe they're we're not, not talking say, about an engineering firm. I don't know who we're talking well, I, about. Well, or whoever, whoever the whoever the professional expert is going to be. And I don't know who that is. Going to, is going to err on the is going to err on the conservative side. Uh, and I don't think we're going to get a different message. I think the message is going to be you need to replace it. And you need to start planning to, to make it happen. And, and I think that's not a bad message. I'm just saying, well, I, think, I think the point ought to be well, I think 2020, 2021, starting to put, something starting like to put that. Money back for, putting money back for it is a, is a good start. That, that needs to be done where we can come up with the money, how much money we that can. That needs to be done regardless. Uh, that after like we, after we see the, the, the 2019 budget, obviously, we're going to have to wait to go through that and go through the retreat to see where we can stand and what we have going forward. That is me in government. Things move slow, so we need to know where the money's coming from next year. And if we can put it back, that's the way to do it. Because I give them the near year after that is when they're going to come down on our head. You might as well look at it. It's not going to be pretty. And, and before we went to retreat and before we did the budget, I just thought you all need to have this information Thank so you. that. It's fresh on your mind as we go through this. Process. Well, I mean, it's the elephant in the room. It, it, yeah. it impacts everything that, that we that we make recommendations or plans for for CIP. I mean, this is the elephant. So we um, obviously agreed. We as a council voted to pay four hundred eighty-eight thousand in engineering because we already agreed we were doing a wastewater treatment plant, or we would have never paid a damn dime towards engineering, not one penny. Well, I think we are doing. It. Okay, well, we're not. You want to kick it down the road to some other we're, council? We are going to do it. It's the timing of it. The, exactly. Well, the timing of it, we need to we need to figure out that that might be now. Okay? It may not be, but it may be. And it's at least it's now to start putting a bunch of cash back for it. A bunch of cash back for it. Which might mean no raises or any of that. And it really may. Uh, because at the end of the day, we do have an elephant coming and he's stomping towards us. Okay? Are we helping you at all in, Is this in your financial question that you that, that was the purpose of this I don't think <coughs> we've got a consensus yet huh. well it is it I think we have to work on the cost that we can in-house for labor or is that a Myers and Tanny set down in the future I don't think that we want to try to start construction of this thing in-house at this point I think that the biggest thing we can do at this point is start setting aside funds, like how much are we going to take out of the CIP and obligate towards this? Um, how much can we cut back what we transfer to the general fund? How much of the 350? Correct. Those are things we can do now that even if they come in 2020 and say you have to do one, we're not going to be any worse than we are today. We'll be in a better shape because we've sent some money back and that will be available in cash. Today, there is no cash. Yeah. Well, I think that, I don't think that we can, from my personal vote, I don't think that we can just say the 350 is no longer going to go to general fund. It's going to all go to this other special. But I do think that we need to be putting up together some kind of a plan that says that that we're going to we're going to be cutting that number, we're going to be reducing that number, uh, and w w whether we reduce it to, to 200 next year and then 100 the following year, whatever. But I, I think we need to have a slope there. I don't think we can just say one way is to be tied to, to sales tax growth, and if sales tax grows not absorb all that sales tax into operating a general fund, but a certain percentage of sales tax growth every year goes to weaning us from the money that we take out of the general fund. Yeah. And it's tied to the actual growth. So if you grow 5%, you put 2% of it back, you grow 7%, you put some kind of sliding scale where you tie it to uh, actual sales tax growth would probably be the best way to do it. But 350000 $350, a year is not anywhere near enough anyway. It's nowhere near 
if, I mean, it's going to happen. If you're talking two years down the, three years down the road, you got you know one point one million in there. That's it. Okay, we need to have like seven or eight. Well, I, <laughs> I don't know. Five. I think we need to have the finance people to tell me that. I don't know that, Brian. Yeah, that that seems like a lot. Fifty yeah. percent of your of your thing having it. Just yeah. some math and things out there. A lot. Of, just not, you did like subscribe. It's like three hundred fifty dollars per well, year. Well, it just it, it just. All I'm saying is that if you got 11 years over here on this financing where it never even starts hitting principal. So we're, I'm know, not defending that. Yeah. I'm not defending that. I'm That's not, all. I'm saying we need to get that down. We need to move that down. Uh, we, and we have four minutes. In defense somewhat of the engineers, Mayor, when you go to DEQ and if they, I won't be here in 2020, so, uh, when they show up and say, you, you got to do something, they start, I guess we're the only ones that ever went through the consent order process that are still around. Uh, having those plans in hand help. will help a oh, lot yeah. Heck help yes. in deferring penalties because DEQ <coughs> now, they've been cut back, you know this, so much in their funding from the state that they look for fines to fund their sure. agencies. Yeah. And, that's a, and we got fined on that, but we got a lot of the fines away. Yeah. Uh, because we've made an effort, we passed a, a, a fee. Yeah. But no, here, where you've already spent the money and you've got plans in hand, that's something plans in hand and, and, show and, and, and some money. We are doing something, right. and now we've got an nest egg also. I, I, I think that's a good. I think that's a good strategy. Well, that's um, to start. So <coughs> we will work towards that strategy and incorporate it into our plan for the FY19 budget. Yes. When we have the retreat and we talk about the $19 million available in CIP, I hope we leave that day and we've allocated all that money and how we're going to use it and a piece of that needs to be allocated towards this plan. Well, that's the whole duration of the 15 years. Correct. The $19 million. Yes. Yeah, I don't know how we can allocate that right. on August yeah, I don't know that we can do that either. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Uh, that. You're yeah. not going to allocate? You're not going to... I mean, you've got probably enough list to spend that $19 million three times. So are you going to decide each year how to use that money, or are you going to plan for the future? Well, I think things change, uh, and I think that uh, it needs to, yeah, there needs to be either, maybe it's a five-year plan, maybe it's a two-year, maybe it's a three-year, or whatever it is, but, I mean, let's face it, if we were to put out another, every when you throw the CIP list out on the table right here, right now, Everybody in here is going to interpret it different, okay, to a degree. And, and I get more nuts on my head over that than exactly. anything else. You and I have. understand. <laughs> so if we have a plan. So mm -hmm. a very smart man at one point told me, uh, I won't mention his name because he'll get embarrassed, and he's probably watching right now, uh, that uh, why don't we resend that list out? Why don't we poll again? Uh, and let's see what today looks like because you know what? two years three years ago was different than we are today uh, and it is what what if they all came back and said forget everything we want the wastewater treatment plant done i'm just saying i wouldn't think they would and that wouldn't probably come back but you don't know what's going to come back because things change how can we commit 15 years of a council down the road i can't do that um i don't know maybe you guys can years. huh 28 years almost yeah, or whatever. No, I'm talking about the CIP. But we do have, but we do need to have a, a strategic plan with some kind of prioritization, yet flexibility because things I do agree. change. I agree. But I, I think we can all agree. We've said it a couple times. The, the the elephant in the room is the sucker we're talking about. Big time. And we got to figure out how we want to deal with that first. And I think that's what Leroy's saying. And it relates to the, the 350 along along with other things relate to how they develop the budget. I think you've got your flavor yeah, for what I think what we because you didn't have a plan Sorry, partly why you end up here. Yeah. Maybe so. Maybe so. There's a battery. Okay. All right. Anybody else? <coughs> We're adjourned. See you downstairs in two minutes.